go through three different movements. One is going to help more of a squat, one is going to help more of a deadlift pattern, one is going to help more of a bench pattern. They're all good. Um, what I recommend is, uh, I know Maria was asking, like, oh, when do we really do this stuff? So you can do it as an exercise for, like, you know, for a longer duration of higher reps, or if I'm using it as a warm up, I might just do like one or two sets of like one or two reps short, just to kind of get the nervous system like fired up and just get my body ready to, to do these things. You don't want to like burn out your core before you squat like 800 pounds, right? But I want to get it kind of prime, it's going to get prime, okay? So we're going to do a, it's called a dead bug exercise, which is basically just moving the hips. Then we're going to do a leg lower exercise, we're moving the hips with a straight straight or extended knee. And then we're going to do a push some uh, some planking type stuff, which will kind of ingrain more like a tighter bench press position. So we're going to bring the knees up. Toes are going to be pulled toward the shins. Now, if I can imagine, if I put Mel right side up, that's going to be the bottom of her squat. At least maybe like a wall squat. You know. So uh, in general, we want to have a basketball distance apart, regardless of if you're really super wide or super close. You know, just kind of a moderate stance is fine for this. A couple of key points that she's not overly arched, she's not overly flexed. So like if she brought her knees up, that'd be too far. So just about like a parallel squat position is good. Toes are pulled toward the shins. And each rep we're going to do is she's going to restart, reset her brace every single time. So if I'm working with somebody new, I might have my fingers here while she's moving. And the goal of this exercise is to move at the hip and not move at your spine. As one of the limbs are moving, the other is going to be static. So I might just kind of put my fingertips here just to kind of give her a cue. So let's come back before we slow it down. So I'm going to have her put pressure into my fingers here, so that hip flexor gets turned down, her, her abs are braced, and just do the heel tap first. That's a shorter lever, put more pressure here. More. One more. So what you're going to find is, if for a newer lifter, they're going to lose tension, this is also going to come out when she's moving that leg. That's level one, and harder. Level two, we're going to extend the knee. And if I want to do level three, I can go like Add some arms and stuff. I'm not going to do that today. Okay, come back down. That's a dead bug. Level one for the leg lower is just we're going to keep this leg static and just bring one leg to the side as you can. Okay, keep that on the ground. Come back down. Other side. Level two, we're going to start with both legs up here. Put pressure into my fingers here, just a little bit, tiny bit. Good. Extend this leg. Keep more tension here. This is getting harder, just a longer lever. This is going to mimic more of a deadlift position. Other side. <coughs> She's moving a little quicker than I'd like, but it's okay. It's good, good for the demo. So that's the dead bugs here, squat position, leg lower, deadlift position. <coughs> okay, flip over the stomach. Position, we're going to build a push up position. And we're going to hold that again. rock solid through here. And then come back down. Okay, so we're going to do a set of dead bugs, a set of leg lowers, and then a set of, you know, do a plank, build a push up position. Just do like two or three reps per side. <laughs> I don't know.